In this video, we're going to learn how to use GitHub CLI to manage common day-to-day -day workflows for working with GitHub pull requests. We're going to see how to search for a specific pull request, check the status of open pull requests, and more. And at the end, I'll share a few command line aliases that we can use to simplify some of these workflows even more. And it's all coming up right after this. Hey devs, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nate, and this channel is dedicated to building great software and helping others do the same. So if you wanna stay up to date on future programming tools, tips, and tutorials, you can click the subscribe button to be notified of future content. Now, if you're managing your code with GitHub, then working with pull requests, reviewing pull requests, creating pull requests, all of these types of things are probably very common parts of your daily software development workflows. With GitHub CLI, we can start to do some of these tasks without ever leaving the command line. So we're gonna walk through a few typical workflows that we might experience in our day-to-day -day work as software developers, and then see how GitHub CLI can help simplify some of those processes for working with GitHub pull requests. And just before we start, so we're all on the same page, we're using GitHub CLI version 0.5.7. If the tool changes in the future, I'll likely create an update to this video just so we're all on the same page. Now, let's jump over to the command line. All right, now let's imagine we're just sitting down to our computer for the day. We've opened up our project repository from the command line. In this case, it is a repository of mine called GitHub Actions Automation Sandbox. And now we wanna start our day by listing out all of the open pull requests. Now we could accomplish this by typing ghpr list. You'll see here that we have listed out two pull requests for this repository. Now, just a couple things to point out here. First off, gh. gh is the prompt for the GitHub CLI tool. Now, if you type gh and hit enter, you should get this feedback saying GitHub CLI, blah, 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 showing you that you have the tool installed. If you type gh dash dash version, you should see the current version of GitHub CLI. If you don't see any of this, it means that you probably don't have the tool installed and you should pause this video and go watch this other video of mine that walks through that installation process first, and then come back to this and check out the more in-depth tutorial. Now, like I said, we want to list out all of our PRs. And we did that using ghpr list. And we see here we have two open PRs. Let's say we wanted to list out all of our PRs, both open and closed. We could do that by once again using ghpr list, but this time we're going to add the dash dash state flag, and we're going to pass in a state of all. Once we hit enter, we'll see we have a number of other pull requests here. We'll see that we have different colors here. So we indicate some of them are open and green, and then we have purple and red indicating that we have deleted or merged pull requests. Now we could also use the shortened form of that state flag by typing ghpr list s, and once again, passing in all as our state. Now, maybe we've realized that looking at all the pull requests is too many to sort through. So we decide we only want to list out our currently assigned pull requests. We could do this by typing ghpr list dash dash assignee and then passing in a GitHub username. In this case, my GitHub username of n8evil. Once I hit enter, we'll see that I have one pull request assigned to me currently. Next, we want to check in on the status of a couple of the PRs we created yesterday. Maybe we don't remember their exact numbers, but since we created them, we can check the status of them using the ghpr status command. So we'll type ghpr status and hit enter. And in this case, we'll see it lists out several PRs along with their status, and it breaks them out into several categories. First, we have current branch. There are no PRs associated with the current branch. So in this case, my current branch is master, and it's telling me there are no PRs for master right now. Then it shows pull requests created by me. So in this case, there are two of them, and we can see that one of them, number nine, all the checks are passing, but for PR 14, only one of the two checks are passing. So this is indicating that I have some type of failing test or some other issue, and I need to go check in on this pull request. 
And then I also see down at the bottom a section saying requesting a code review for me. So in this case, I see I have no people waiting on me to review their code. Now after looking at the status of all these pull requests, maybe we still can't find the pull request we're looking for. So we might want to check whether it was closed or not. In this case, we could type ghpr list dash dash state, and this time we'll pass in a state of closed. And we'll see here, we have a handful of PRs that have all been closed. And again, we see a difference between closed and merged. So that's great. The, maybe the pull request we're looking for was closed. So now we're ready to kind of find our next task. We could start looking for new tasks by listing out all pull requests with specific labels. So let's say we wanted to look for all pull requests related to bugs. In this case, we could type gh pr list dash dash label, and we pass in the bug label. We see here I have one pull request that's marked as a bug. Once we've found a PR that we want to review, we might want to assign that PR to ourselves. Currently, we can't do that directly from command line with GitHub CLI, but we can quickly open the PR from the command line using the view command. So we could type ghpr view, and then we need to pass in some way of identifying that pull request. In this case, we've typed in 14 to indicate that we want to open up PR 14. Once I hit enter, it's going to open me up directly into that pull request in the web browser. From here, I could then assign that pull request to myself if it isn't already. Now we come back to the terminal. As we're working on our assigned issues, at some point, we're going to want to create a new pull request based on our local changes. We can use the ghpr create command to create a new pull request directly from the command line. So if I type ghpr create and hit enter, it'll prompt me to say must be in a branch different than master. So what this is going to do is automatically try to create a pull request for your current branch against your default branch. So in this case, I will list out my branches and I say I have two branches available. So I'm going to check out the ne slash ktlint branch. And now I'm going to try that again, ghpr create. And now it says creating pull request for any ktlint into master for this repo. And again, similar to for maybe the GitHub issue repo that you might have seen, we can specify the information for this pull request. So we'll start by typing a title, we'll hit enter. We could enter a body or simply hit skip. And then once again, we can preview this pull request in the browser, submit it to go ahead and create it, or we can cancel it. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that pull request. Now we could potentially simplify this process by skipping the interactive prompt and specifying all the pull request information in the single command. We could do this by typing ghpr create dash t for title dash b for body and then we could hit enter. So this will automatically create the pull request. Now in this case it fails because I've already created a pull request for this specific branch. So maybe you do have an issue or maybe you just want to create your pull request directly from the browser. You could do that by typing ghpr create dash dash web. Once you hit enter it will open up your web browser and it will allow you to start creating a PR exactly from that branch that you're already on. Now, at some point, you're going to want to test a PR locally. This generally requires looking up the PR, checking the branch it's on, then checking that branch out on your local machine. Using GitHub CLI, we can streamline this process a bit by using the PR checkout command. So let's again list out our open PRs using ghpr list. Now, since we're already on the ktlint branch, let's choose the PR on the any readme branch. So in this case, I'm going to type ghpr checkout PR14. Once I hit enter, that is automatically going to check out the branch associated with that PR. That means that I don't have to go and look up any of that info. I can switch to the branch directly without even knowing what branch it's on simply by selecting the PR I'm interested in. So with all of these different command and flag variations, we have quite a few options for creating, listing, and viewing all of our GitHub pull requests. 
Now, some of these commands start to get a little bit verbose, and that makes them a little bit error prone. To simplify the execution of those commands, we could make use of command line aliases to shorten some of these commands. So let's look at a couple examples of that. So if we wanted to list out all the bug-related PRs, again, we could do ghprlist dash dash label bug. Now we could create an alias to shorten that up that might look something like this. So I'll type alias to start creating our alias. Now let's say we want the name of the new command to be list PRs. And then we will specify ghpr list dash dash label bug as the command to be run. Now once we hit enter, if I type list PRs, we'll see that it lists out all of the bug related PRs. Now, just as one other example that's likely to come up in your workflows, let's say you want to list out all the PRs currently assigned to you. So to do that, we could create an alias called list my PRs. And within that, we'll use the ghpr list a username variant. And now if I type list my PRs and hit enter, and again, we'll see all the PRs currently assigned to me. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully this has given you a good idea of how you can use GitHub CLI to work with GitHub pull requests right from the command line. So what do you think about using GitHub CLI? Do you think it's uh, useful for working with pull requests? Do you find it a little bit limited? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching devs. If you like this video and you wanna be notified of future related content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and I will catch you all in the next video. Until next time, devs.